Let's talk about how OCD thoughts go away. When you have OCD that's full blast 10 out of 10, what you are doing throughout the day is continuously showing your brain that this thought or feeling is important. So when the thought or a feeling comes in, you take it very seriously. You try to do whatever OCD wants you to do. Figure it out. Do a compulsion. Do an avoidance behavior. You're doing the behavior. That signals to the brain that the thought is very important and that it should send you more of it. It sends you more and you again highlight it. So you're just highlighting all day long. And of course, your brain is under the impression that somehow this is valid. Who knows how, but somehow I better send this again and again. And then it does, and then you continue the behavior. Versus if you are doing response prevention, meaning thought comes in, not engaging, not trying to figure it out, not defending the thought, defending yourself, not doing any behavior as if it was in a different language, complete ignore, passive ignore, very important because if you have active ignore where you're like, I'm focused on ignoring, oh my God, and you make it so important. Again, you now put recovery as uh, almost an obsession, right? So you want to passively, indifferently ignore. When you do this, the brain stops viewing it as important, but it happens in spurts. So basically, let's say OCD was with you every moment of the day. 24 hours a day, you would have intrusive thoughts. Now, as you are doing recovery work and you start to feel better, now you get a thought, let's say, once a day and you start to catch yourself, oh, I had a really good morning. I never had OCD thoughts. Or I had a good few days later on as you continue to disregard, right? I've had a few good days and I didn't have OCD and now it came back. And I hear this all the time that people say, and it came back. Nothing left and nothing came back. What actually happened is your OCD, your brain was putting you on a full-time job of protecting yourself because it was viewing whatever you are worried about as super dangerous because of your reaction. You've changed the reaction. It's not viewing it as super dangerous anymore. So now it's kind of downgraded you to a part-time job of OCD rather than full-time. And you have to continue to reduce from that part-time. So the, the fact that you are on a part-time schedule is already very good, but that's not recovery. So you have to keep working on yourself. Keep showing indifference. Thought comes in and don't even try to figure out where um, OCD uh, ends and real life begins because you have so many important real life rocks that you must carry. No, you don't need to carry them. Treat everything as OCD. If it's an intrusive thought, if it's a thought that's intruding on your peace, that's about way in the past or way in the future or what if, fear of any kind, of any kind, or even a negative feeling of any kind, like you got into an argument with somebody, whatever the situation may be, make the choice to disregard and don't go there. Don't dive in emotionally. And you will see that it's going to little by little let go. So again, every moment of the day, few times a day, few times a week, few times a month, that's the process. And then when you have that, don't get worked up about why did it come back? Oh my God, I'm never going to get out of it. Because again, that feeds the OCD. It came back. Okay, fine. I had a nice little break. It was bigger break than last time, which means we're on the right track. Or it wasn't a bigger break than last time, which means my brain is still very much taking it seriously. I need to work harder at disregarding. But again, passively. This is the way, and I promise you it works. If you want me to push you up the hill personally, uh, you can sign up for OCD recovery program on youhaveocd.com. With me, I'll see you tomorrow.